In this lesson, we're going to use the 3D camera tracker to uh, solve a 3D camera. We're going to set the ground plane and we're going to place a 3D cube into our scene. So I'm just going to load in a piece of video footage and I'm going to drag and drop that into my composition. So it's a pretty typical video of uh, someone walking down a footpath and it's pretty shaky. So I'm just going to start by going to my effects and presets panel and I'm going to type in 3D cam and the 3D camera tracker module should come up. So I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the video and it starts analyzing. So it's analyzed and solved the camera and we get these um, markers on the scene which basically are um, kind of points the camera knows are uh, steady. So if some of these points are too small you can increase the track point size here, make them larger. Um, so this is quite a good solution. So the only problem is the 3D camera tracker doesn't know where the ground is. Like we can obviously see um, the ground is kind of here, but this software basically doesn't know. You have to tell it. So I'm just going to try and find uh, three points. So if you kind of hover, you'll see um, these triangles forming. And you want to find three points uh, roughly level on the ground and quite far apart from each other. So I think this triangle here uh, looks quite accurate. I'm just going to click and it sets this kind of polygon triangle and I'm just going to right click that and I'm going to choose set ground plane and origin. So now it basically knows that these three points lie flat on the ground. Next I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a solid and a camera. So what we get is basically this uh, 2D solid, sorry 3D solid and if we now play back the video you'll notice that the solids are lying flat on the ground as if it's a carpet. And it looks pretty uh, accurate. We don't see any slippage. It looks pretty well uh, stuck to the ground. And we can export this to Cinema 4D if we wanted to, but uh, this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna duplicate the solid and I'm gonna rotate it along Y, 90 degrees. Um, I'm going to turn on snapping and I'm just going to grab the bottom edge here and I'm going to make it snap to uh, the first solid. And I'm just going to parent this to the first solid. I'm going to go back to my original solid and I'm just going to rotate it along Z so it's kind of facing us. And I'm just going to duplicate another uh, segment and I'm just going to move it over till it snaps. So using this uh, method you can basically build a cube on the ground. And when you're moving this make sure you just kind of use the axis handles. So if I just play this back quickly you can see that uh, it looks like there's a sort of archway sitting on the ground. So I'm just going to duplicate the rest. It's quite hard to get a snap so I'm just going to Zoom in here, I think right there. And uh, we can add a 3D light to the scene. So I'm just going to create a light, just a point light. And I'm going to just move it up. Try and emulate the sunlight. So that's just a quick and simple way of um, motion tracking objects into a video using After Effects. So if you found this tutorial useful, please share it and thanks for watching.